Hi, I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. And welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday, the 24th of October. Um, now, this evening, we are going to celebrate the Archangel Raphael. Um, quite often, Raphael is celebrated on the 29th of September with St. Michael and all angels. Um, so he's included there, but he does have his own date, which is today. So, um, a bit of information about uh, the Archangel Raphael. Uh, today is his feast day, and he is one of the seven archangels and one of the only three mentioned by name in the Bible, uh, together with Gabriel and Michael. Um, to read about uh, Raphael, you would need a Bible with an apocrypha, um, because the book he is mentioned in is Tobit, which is in the Apocrypha. So Raphael appears only in the biblical book of Tobit as the travelling companion of Tobias, Tobit's son. Uh, he initially presents himself as Azarias, the son of the great Ananias. Back from his journey with Tobias, he was sent to media to collect a debt. Raphael delivers Sarah um, and... <clears throat> Tobias's future wife. Please excuse the touch is in the way. <laughs> um, so he, he delivers Sarah from the demon Asmodeus and heals the blind Tobit. His true identity is then revealed and he makes himself known as the angel Raphael, one of the seven who stand before the Lord. In virtue of his healing powers, St. Raphael is also believed to be the archangel who healed the multitude of infirm at the pool of Bethsaida. Uh, Raphael is the patron saint of travellers, and as such he is depicted holding a staff. Often he is represented with Tobias, holding or standing on a fish, which alludes to the healing of Tobit with a fish's gall. Um, so and that's it, it's really quite an interesting story. I, I, I enjoy reading it. Um Tobias's wife Sarah, um the demon that she had caused her, uh, or rather <laughs> she had seven bridegrooms perish on the night of their weddings to her. Um so um the archangel Raphael got rid of the demon and showed Tobias how he could marry Sarah safely <laughs> without um without getting killed, murdered. Uh, well, however. Um, so that's that's the information about uh Raphael. Just reading here. Um, besides Raphael, Michael and Gabriel are the only archangels mentioned by name in the Bible. Raphael's name means God heals. This identity came about because of the biblical story, which claims that he healed the earth when it was defiled by the sins of the fallen angels in the apocryphal book of Enoch. Uh, Raphael is also identified as the angel who moved the waters of the healing sheep pool. He is also the patron of the blind, of happy meetings, of nurses, of physicians, and, as I said, travellers. So, that's, that's the information on St. Raphael. I just think of turtles, but that, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, let us take a moment of quiet as I attempt to share my screen in the usual way. The words you see in bold offer you to join in with should you wish to do so. If you don't, just listen and enjoy. There we are. 
Um, and here is the Archangel Raphael. And this is Tobias. And this is a painting by Titian. Let us begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We take a moment of quiet as we reflect on the past day, the past week. Bring our thoughts, our concerns to God. Ask this grace and forgiveness. We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sin, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We listen to uh, Libera and their version of Vespera, which includes some of Before the Ending of the Day.
Our psalm this evening is Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart is desolate, within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gasps for you like a thirsty lion. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me, hide not your face from me lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemy and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And scripture reading this evening comes from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 11, verse 28 to the end. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We listen to Libera and their version of the Noctimitus.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. For peace and harmony in the church and in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Grant that the church shall always bear witness to God as supreme, rendering the honour and worship that are his due. May all Christian people show forth their faith by their words and by their deeds. We pray for justice and honest dealing between nations and between individuals. Give to those in authority the wisdom to know the limits of their power and to demand no more than is right. We continue our prayers for Israel, for Gaza, for the Ukraine and all places of war and conflict. And we pray for all peoples who are displaced, all those who are grieving the loss of homes, the loss of loved ones. And we pray, especially at this time, for all places of blood. Bless us, our family, neighbours and friends with obedience in all things, lawful, and courage to resist injustice. Bless those who manage the finances of this community and give them right judgment in all their decisions. Have mercy on all who bear heavy burdens of taxation for the benefit of the few and not for the common good. Guide and strengthen those whose Christian allegiance is divided and uncertain and keep them in the way of truth. We pray for all those who are ill at this time, all those who have asked for our prayers especially, all those known only to God who are suffering in any way. And we give thanks for the departed who have rendered their duty in this world and gone to their rest, including John Cross, Sheila Seedhouse, Robert Perry and Patrick Allington Smith. Give them peace in the realm where nothing can challenge their whole loyalty to their God and Saviour. May Christ guide us in all our decisions and accept our prayers, which we offer in his name. Amen. And the collect, everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted the ministries of angels and mortals in a wonderful order. Grant that as your holy angels always serve you in heaven, so at your command, they may help and defend us on earth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we come to the ending of the day, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. 
come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Tuesday, the 24th of October. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night. Look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless.